Hello guys, welcome back to A7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the two types of the spans. These are the effective span and the clear span. So what, are, what is the main difference between these two types of the span? I would like to explain this difference with the help of an example in order to understand it easily. So let's consider this is, these are the two columns or we can say the two supports provided to take this beam. So this is a beam, horizontal member is being supported on the two columns. So these are the columns. This is also column. In similar way, this is a beam supported by the two supports or by two columns. So how to define the effective span for a beam and how to define the clear span for a beam. So effective span is basically, it is the span when we are taking the distance between the the center to center distance between the two supports so it is the center to center distance between two supports now what does this mean it means center to center distance between two supports so this is the center of one support and this is the center of another support so the center to center distance between the two support is known as the effective span or effective length of the beam so this is known as the effective length or effective span for this beam it is very simple just we have to consider the one center of one support and the center of another support and the distance between these two support center of the support is known as the effective span or effective length of the beam now coming to the clear span what is the clear span it is basically the distance between two supports so if this is one support if this is another support these are two columns and beam is being supported by these two columns so it is the distance between two supports. This is one support and this is another support. The simple distance between these two support is known as the clear span or clear length of the beam. So now it is the it was the main difference between these two types of the spans. Now what is the effective span for this beam? If I consider this is the let's suppose column dimension of width B. And this is also column dimension of it B. So the effective length will be equal to the, it is basic, this is length between the two supports. It is the clear length. We know that the distance between the two supports is known as the clear length. So effective length will be equal to the clear length plus, this is B, so it will be B divided by 2. Plus here is also b divided by 2 because in case of the effective length we add the half of the column half of the support here on one side and also on the another side so effective length is always greater than the clear length so effective length e, l is equal to the lc plus when we add these two we got b so effective length is greater than the clear length by the magnitude of P where B is the width of the support or column. So effective length is always greater than the clear length of the B. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.